As we get ever closer to the release of Starfield, more drama and attention rise surrounding this title. To be quite honest, I find this very disappointing. This time, the drama took place on Twitter. Grums, a Blizzard developer, posted this. The physiognomy of start screens. The start screen of a game can reveal a lot about how rushed the team was and how much pride they took in their work. Starfield's start screen shows hasty shipping deadlines by a passionate team overworked or a team that didn't care. Grums then continued in comments, start screens are often done at the very end of development. Teams are too busy making a poor game. It's quite common for the start screen to completely change once the game is shipping or on patch zero. Teams that put pride to put a good face forward will often redo these just prior to the game going live. He then continued, the most insane example is probably the installer for the original Command & Conquer. It's never been done. One individual responded with, or they just have different ideas than you do. Grumps then replied, it's true, I have different views on game dev than 99% of the common dev wisdom. To be honest, he sounds very arrogant and prideful. He just insulted 99% of developers right here. Completely unnecessary. Another individual replied, I don't play star screens. I play what's behind it. This is a great point. Me personally, I really don't care about star screens. I only spend a second on there anyways, so who cares? But that's my opinion. Then Pete Hines, the Bethesda head of publishing, responded with this. Or they designed what they wanted and that's been our menu for years and was one of the first things we settled on. Having an opinion is one thing. Questioning a developer's care because you would have done it differently is highly unprofessional coming from another dev. This was a perfect response. I don't think he could have responded any better than that. In my opinion, Grums overstepped and in a way attempted to tarnish Bethesda Studios image by questioning its care for its games based on the start menu. In addition to this, he also questioned the company's culture in terms of how overworked the employees are with no actual proof of this. I think everyone has their own style and has the right to express their art in a way that they like. Based on the response from Pete Hines, this was something they settled on a few years back. Personally, I like the minimalistic feel of it. It's very clean. It has intrigue of exploration and vastness of space. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next video.